When hard drives fail, they usually make some noise and sometimes you can see the physical damage. We're gonna find out how this one is today. Sounds pretty nasty. Let's go ahead and crack it open. It's always good to have the $5 Stanley screwdriver kit for these type of screws here. I'm gonna grab a number, Stanley number one, and go ahead and open that up. Let's see how that goes. Now, I've never not owned a hard drive that hasn't failed at some point. Even this camera has a hard drive in it, the HG20 from Canon. And it has a hard drive. And although I've used it for the last six years, I've dropped it multiple times. I've replaced the screen on it. The uh, hard drive is bound to fail. So what we want to do now I'm just guessing, I've never taken this thing apart before. But, all right, so it is a SATA drive. It's a Western, no, this one is a, this in here has a Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte. Pretty decent drive. Now I've had it for about three or four years, I think, I don't remember. And, Turn down the exposure on the camera just a little bit. And it's been traveled a lot, so it's probably been bumped, maybe. You know, something happened. So, these top screws here, there's a bunch in here too. I'm going to take off this padding. I don't need that. So, these screws here need a special little drive, and I happen to have this little angle one here. It's kind of like an Allen wrench. Hex key. And. There's three actual screws here that have to come out as well. They're hidden, but it's also void if open, you know. So we'll go ahead and open these. Now with this video is in real time. If you want to cut here and see it already opened, go ahead and go elsewhere. A little tough. Let's get the hand in front of the camera. Now, at the office, we take care of some systems. We had three hard drive failures in about a week span. Things are catching up. Recovered multiple hard drives over the last year. Some great free tools out there that you can donate to. Check those out. But if you just want to see what the hell is inside of a hard drive and this is the video you found, stick around for a moment and we will crack it open. This one here. The platter's still good. I mean, I can replace this drive here for 80 bucks, I think. Or get an SSD for this thing, but it's only a USB 2.0 interface, so it wouldn't really matter that much right there. You can replace it with a huge small one I have a temporary backup but I don't look at hard drives as of a good backup solution only because the fucking things always fail no matter what without fail they fail so here we got you can just go ahead and poke around a little bit you can you can see you know twist and my hand in the way. Eventually it'll sink in there. Got that one. Got one right above the glass. Now if you never notice, these things tell you the warranty's good up until 300 G's. So you can essentially toss this thing off a building and still being good. I don't know if they actually have a G breaker thing in there or not, like you see in Mythbusters, you know? 
but that's what it says. 350 G's, this particular one. Then again, if it falls right on the nice corner, boom, it's dead. There we go. Now we're going to take these ones out. These ones you can just unscrew right through the sticker. Two. And this one's a long one here. This one kind of goes through the. This one here goes through one of the arms that hold the head reader. Take this one off. So all in all, there's a shit ton of discs for these things, or uh, screws. So that one's a long one right there. Okay. So, that one's out. This one. That'll come out too. You know. That sticker's holding it down. Another long one here. Now it should be able to pop it right up now. That's all three of them. There we go. Oh yeah, she's damaged. Well, if you can see it, Let's see if I can get it on there. Right there, yeah. So that is where the damage is on this particular drive. I don't see anything in the filter. Let's go ahead and turn it on. There's the filter right there. See what happens. Gonna need some power. There we go. So it gets up to speed. Looks like that head is definitely scratching things around a bit kind of reset and then I'll see what happens Yeah. Nope, now she's burnt up. Smell it. Once you give it a little assistance, the thing kind of burn up pretty darn quick. So that's it, and that's that flatter. That hard drive would be considered a loss. I believe I have it backed up. But there you go. That's what's inside the hard drive that is failed. So this one has two discs on it. That's a terabyte. So Let's see when that was manufactured. Doesn't say. Oh well. <laughs>